The first step is to set up the OEM plastic math housing on a vise so that we can use two screwdrivers to remove the air straightener screen. Just be careful using the screwdrivers to pry out the screen because it is possible that the screen may pop right off as you will see here, just like that. Now that the screen is out of the MAF housing, we're going to reposition it on the vise so that way the MAF sensor is facing straight up. Doing this will allow us the ability to get inside so that way we can get underneath the MAF sensor itself and pry it up from the bottom. In order to do that, we need to heat up around the MAF sensor itself to loosen up the glue and the adhesive that holds it to the MAF housing. In order to do this, we're going to need to use the heat gun and slowly heat around where the MAF sensor meets the MAF housing. Now, you're going to want to do this for about a minute or so, or until the temperature hits about 200 degrees. Once the MAF sensor has read about 200 degrees, we can go ahead and try to pry it out from underneath. This removal process involves our prying tool and the screwdriver. Now that the glue is tacky around the MAF sensor, we can go ahead and pry it out from underneath. Just be aware that you may need to use a lot of force to get the MAF sensor out and that this process may break your MAF housing. Once the sensor has been successfully removed from the OEM plastic housing, you are now ready to put it into a performance MRP aluminum MAF housing. Our MAF housings are precision machined to fit the MAF sensor perfectly. In addition to that, they also come with an air straightener screen already riveted in for you. In addition to selling MAF housings with and without air straighteners, we also sell aluminum weld-on MAF flanges made specifically for this sensor type. And as always, if you ever have any questions, comments, or concerns, please feel free to reach out to us on our Facebook, Instagram, or visit us at www.performancemrp.com.